Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. This is Austin Farnham with Palin Music. I am here to present the Kyle Worth SX90R. This is a beautiful tenor saxophone. Uh, had a lot of fun playing it uh, over the review process. Um, one of the biggest things that probably stands out to me is intonation in a saxophone. Do I have to put in a great deal of effort to keep each range in tune as I play through the horn? And man, this thing is just easy to play. Uh, thank you, Palin, for sending me amazing instruments because uh, it makes my job a lot easier in the review process. So I put together a little clip. Go ahead and check this out. Uh, just covering a little exercise uh, to show you what this thing can do in terms of intonation. Okay, well let's hop into some specs on this. So you'll see that this is a black nickel finish um, and the alloy that they use for the horn itself is a nickel silver, um, which actually doesn't contain any silver. It's uh, mostly copper and a nickel mixture uh, that make up the saxophone. And I don't know uh, how that affects the tone exactly, but man, this thing uh, is just, it pops. It's very present. It has a, what I would describe as a very bold sound. And uh, the biggest thing I notice as I'm playing it, you know, you hear, uh, I've even said, you know, this horn is really resonant. Um, but it f truly feels resonant. It's, it's actually a strange feeling um, in a really good way. Uh, you can feel the horn vibrating in the lower register. It's just so, it can be so loud. Um, and I think it would be great for, you know, jazz or pop styles. Uh, I, I could totally see myself playing this kind of horn um, on a gig like that. Um, mechanics, they have some really nice features on this horn. So probably the best, uh, maybe not the best, but the one of the big highlights of this instrument uh, to me is the rolled tone holes. It's just an added touch. Um, you know, that it helps the instrument seal. It seems to play a little quieter, less key noise. Um, also just in general, the rods and springs and everything, like it's a quiet instrument. Um, something that I, oh, I hate, I hate about most saxophones is that sticky G sharp key. Um, you know, you don't exactly brush your teeth every time you play your saxophone, you get some stuff in there, it gets sticky. Um, but they have sort of compensated for that in the mechanism here. So the G sharp key actually has uh, an added support that helps that G sharp release. So you deal less and less with sticky key issues, which is just a nice touch. And then moving on to what I truly think is the best feature of this horn uh, is in terms of the key work is uh, these palm keys are adjustable. So if you've ever played a Kyle Worth, you probably already know that, but if you're not familiar with this brand, it's about the only saxophone, it is the only saxophone brand that I know of that actually has customizable lengths for the palm keys, so it can fit better fit the curvature of your hand. Um, I noticed that the pearls on the keys are lifted a little bit. Uh, there's no metal work around the keys. Um, the concave sort of nature of these keys, it has a lot of depth to it and it feels really comfortable. Another thing when I'm playing like fork F or uh, any sort of like altissimo fingerings, this, uh, this top alternate F key up here, it's rolled out a lot more than normal. Um, uh, at least on the saxophones that I have played, and it really feels nice. It's just right there, so I don't have to like move my finger up like when I'm playing a fork F most of the time. It's just right there, and it's super comfortable to play on, which I love. Um, the key spread is something that took a little getting used to. It's, you know, wherever you kind of imagine your hand placement being, it's just a little 
tiny bit wider, but it is noticeable. I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. Um, you know, maybe just because it's the adjustment period for learning, you know, to play on this saxophone, but I feel like it makes me focus more on my technique <laughs> and sometimes my lack thereof in technique. Um, but I, I do really love the way it plays and feels super responsive. Um, speaking of responsiveness, I feel like the evenness between the lower register all the way to the higher register, everything is there. It's super present no matter where I'm playing on the horn. And I put together another little uh, example to show you. So go ahead and check that out. So in the beginning, you got to hear a little bit of this baby uh, with a backing track. I just enjoy playing backing tracks. Uh, but I wanted you to be able to hear the saxophone all by itself so you can truly get a, a mental image of, of what it's sounding like all by itself. So go ahead and, and take a listen. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the bottom of this instrument. The bow is oversized. Uh, it's a little bigger than the average tenor, um, but that's done to give you sort of that fatter, bigger sound. This thing has a lot of bite and edge to it, and it's really fun to play on if you're wanting to do that screaming sort of sax stuff. And the low register on this, I was talking about resonance, you can just truly feel in your body. You can feel this horn resonating. Um, and I put together this little example just to pop out some low notes and kind of give you a sense of that. I don't know how well it translates over a microphone all the time, um, but man, it's fun to just kind of be a berry player for a second and just honk on some low notes. So check this out. <laughs> All right, well that wraps it up for the Kyleworth SX90R. I have had 
an absolute blast playing this instrument. Thank you to Palin Music for sending me lovely gear. Um, it makes my job very easy and a lot of fun. I have to say, I would truly, I would truly buy this instrument. <laughs> I really like it a lot. Um, but you can buy it for me. Think about it. No? Okay, not gonna happen. Well, that's okay. You can still check it out for yourself, get current prices, more details than what were covered, even in this video, at palinmusic.com. You can also call a sales rep at 479-464. Just a second there, big time review guy, because that's not even close to the right phone number. The correct phone number for Palin Music Center is 417-882-7006. One more time, that's 417-882-7006. Did I get it right? I got it right! So I hope you enjoyed the review process. I've had uh, certainly had a lot of fun playing this instrument and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.